Hello, fellow followers. Welcome back to Fan Scene. Greg here, and today I have for you something I've been waiting so long for. My unboxing of In Search of Darkness Part 3. I am super excited to get into this and see what it is I got. We have such sights to show you. Up first, we have a little card here that indicates that we will be getting an In Search of Darkness 90s edition from 1990 to 1994. I'm a, I'm pumped for that. I've actually been watching a lot of 90s horror here recently, just for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm really, you know, 80s horror is really what I'm into. The 80s and, but like the 80s, 90s, 70s, man. I'm super excited. And I've heard that there's rumors of a 70s In Search of Darkness uh, after they go through the 90s and uh, the 2000s and then 70s. That's going to be pretty cool. But, you know, we have that on our way. And then also... In Search of Tomorrow Part 2, which you see in Search of Tomorrow right here. Uh, I love that documentary as well. It was a great a journey into 80s sci-fi. And I'm looking forward to what they have coming in Part 2. So I really, I, I do the, like these little cards that they put in there to let you know what's coming ahead. And I, I love the, uh, the paper stock on that. That's cool. So let's go on to what else we have in the box. This next item I am super, super pumped to have. I'm so excited to have it. I love it. And that would be... A, a Search of Darkness video card. I love it. This will give me access to like uh, deals on physical media and all kinds of things from, and so, you know, from the creator VC in Search of Darkness. I would show you the back, but it's got a little QR code and I don't want to show you that because I, I don't know if that will affect me any, but well, I'll do this. Uh, yeah, it's got the little VHS on the back. I'm trying to get it without the glare. Yeah, this is super cool. I'm really, really excited to have that VHS. Look at that VHS card. That is awesome. I love it. I love the horror stickers, the Be Kind Rewind. Uh, it's so awesome. I love this. It's, I'm pumped to have this. I'm really glad they decided to add something like this into this, this one this time. I'm really, really excited to have it. That's so cool. Look at that. Next, we have another enamel pin. I love these little enamel pins that they give us. Here, I'll take it out of the wrapper so we can see it a little better than, you know, in the wrapper. So, yeah, I really love these little enamel pins. I, like, the last one was, like, Kelly Maroney's uh, cheerleader outfit and on a skeleton stuff. It was really cool. Uh, but this one looks really cool. I love the I love the little Grave Digger and VHSs there. It's awesome. In Search of Dark... Well, I hope... Don't don't fuzz out on me there. I wanted to blur for you guys, but there you guys go. Uh, the enamel pin. I love this. Uh, it's awesome. I love. I really do love all these awesome, real cool goodies that <laughs> these creative VC and in search of darkness give us. Just look at that pin. That is really cool. That enamel pin. It's it's awesome. Next up, we have the posters. So let's take them out. Look at them one by one. We have the video store one, which I absolutely love. I love that Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 standee. I've been really watching the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies here late after the first one came out, and I absolutely love that. Look at this. I'll, I'll try to do it like this without much of a glare because I got the glare, sorry, from the light. But, uh, oh, man, look at that. Hellraiser, creep show. Trying to do it without that glare. Oh, look at the critters. I love the TV, the little TV, the tube TV. Oh, you got to have it. Look at this poster, guys. Oh, I love this poster in Search of Darkness Part 3. You got to go straight to my heart. Straight to my heart. I mean, damn, this is awesome. Let's go to the next poster. Let's check that one out as well. Next, we have the classic posters that they've been doing for each one, which I really love. Try to do this without the glare here. We have the three with all the horror characters in there. And the little kid watching TV, which has become iconic with this. Very iconic image for In Search of Darkness. I'll do it like I did before here for you guys so you can see it better, hopefully without the glare. Look at look at that. The ghost ship there. Look at all that. Oh, this is so cool. Look at all them uh, villains. This time we go a lot further back into horror history with movies I've never heard of. Like with the first one, I, I knew a bunch of those in the first movie. The second movie, I knew a lot less. And the third movie, oh my God, the third movie goes into like some of the dark reaches, places of horror that you've never heard of. And it's just, it was so fascinating. It's just a, an amazingly good time. And uh, I mean, look at this poster. This is another truly... Sorry, I got a glare. This is another true, truly amazing poster. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's go on to the final poster and uh, see what that one looks like. With the final poster, I'm just going to go ahead and start off like I, I was just showing you a minute ago. But it is an awesome poster as well. It's very much, it's just like the enamel pin I just showed you a minute ago. Uh, yeah, look at this poster. Look at this poster. This is one of my favorites of them. Look, I love the little, like, Grave Digger or whatever you want to call him. He almost reminds me of like the original uh, 
creep from uh you know tells from the crypt whatnot look at that the comics cc comics look at this this is amazing i love the grave and i love that it's full of like these vhs's oh look at that look how cool those vhs's are i love it look at those titles Oh man, I'm I'm turning into a straight geek on this one. I'm turning into a straight geek all around on this because I am. But look at this poster, man. Uh, this is an amazing poster. Creative VC never fails on their posters. The whoever does all these designs, uh, shout out to all you guys that do these designs. These are amazing. This is probably my favorite. I don't know the video store one. Ah, don't 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 make me choose. Don't make me choose. But there you go for the final poster. And let's get into something I know you guys have been waiting to see. Next, since I sadly missed out. On the first in search of darkness, the physical copy, anyways. Uh, you know, I, I didn't even know about it till part two, and then in part two, uh, that thing's when it really went off with me, and I, I'm so honored to be in the credits of In Search of Darkness part two and part three. My name in the credits in both of them, and then actually have a clip of myself in the third documentary is amazing. But I managed to get me this time a physical copy of In Search of Darkness Part 1 to go along with the rest of my collection here. Uh, this is awesome. So, might as well just open it up, right? now opened it up there's the let's go to the front again without a glare and everything and then like i said that kind of kid watching tv the back this was probably one of my favorite and these these do persistently get better each and each each movie so it's really cool so well, on the inside we just got you know the disc which is pretty cool and i'm kind of regretting not getting the big box that houses all three, like a big slip cover. I kind of wish I would have got that for all three uh, because that would have been cool to add it all together like that in a little set, but that's okay. It's okay. I mean, I got the physical copies now and that's something I'm passionate about is physical media. And I love that we get these physical copies directly from Creative RC and they will not sell them any other way, shape, or form. It's them. That, you know, that's how the physical comes and it makes it a bit more collectible, a bit more like, you know, like we're part of something huge with the horror community. I don't know if you if you get what I'm trying to say. I just love it. But glad to have part one. So let's get to the final item. The one, you know, this is what you came to see. I know. Finally, I have for you, In Search of Darkness, part three, Blu-ray. Oh, I love it. Look at that. There's that cover. You know I love that cover. I, I'm really torn between this, you know, this artwork here and the video store artwork. I really – and don't, not, don't get me wrong. I love the classic three, one, two, and three logos with the kid in front of TV. Those are perfect as well. You can't really go wrong with any of the artwork. But there's the front. Here's the back if you want to read all that. It's so cool. Then, of course, we have the Blu-ray. Let's set this to the side for a minute uh, and open this up for you guys as well. So let's get this open and uh, – See what, uh, what what goodies awaits inside this Blu-ray. So here's the front. Look at that. Awesome. The three with the kid watching TV flows perfectly. And then once again, the back. And so let's get into the inside here. We have, of course, our little booklet, which I love these little booklets that we give, that we get here. I love these little booklets. I'm so sorry for my glare, everybody. <laughs> I'm a little excited, so I'm not I'm not doing this as well as I probably should. But, uh, I mean, look at that. I love this. I love these. I love all this little booklet stuff. And I love, like I've said a million times, I'll take these out and I'll read them sometimes. Just looking for a movie and I'll go read them. And, uh, oh, look at this. I just saw something in here I want to show you guys. Look, film checklist. How cool is that for everybody keeps asking, is there a list for the films in these movies so I can find them, you know? Because maybe, you know, you watch a four or five hour long documentary. Sometimes you don't remember every one of them. That is so cool that you got the, uh, the film's checklist there that you can go through and check each film that you miss or you want to see or that you haven't seen in a long time. That is badass. Shout out to you guys. That is awesome. I love that. So there you guys go. Checklist on that and your little booklet so it helps you can find the movies that you missed or want to see or have never seen. And, of course, we have the Blu-ray. And, of course, we have the Blu-ray here. I, I pulled it out because I'm going to show you guys it has a, the reversible cover on it inside there. But, yeah, uh, that is pretty cool. I, I'm really blown away by the checklist there. I'm really glad that it's in there. But there's that. And that's the uh, In Search of Darkness Part 3. Look at that. That is cool. That is so cool. I love these. I love this. I'm just, I'm, I'm a sucker for these things. I'm a geek. I love 80s horror. I love 80s movies. I love documentaries like this. And my God, to know that I am a part of something like this, I, I'm still, on. like I, I mentioned before, I'm still blown away that this, this clip right here. 80s horror means a lot to me. 
takes me back to when I was a kid, hanging out with my brothers and my friends, staying up late, watching movies I know I should not have been watching at the time, and falling in love with stories and characters created by Wes Craven, John Carpenter, George Romero, and Charles Band. I will always be in their debt for providing me with hours of entertainment, and within Search of Darkness, it has provided me with even more hours of 80s horror entertainment that I will continue to watch to this day. Long live 80s horror and In Search of Darkness. It's taken directly from the credits of Part 3. I'm in a documentary. Granted, I'm not interviewed. I'm not I'm not on the thing or anything like that. But I'm in a documentary with John Carpenter, Joe Bob Briggs, and so many other great horror icons. Uh, Tom Savini, L- Linnea Quigley. Just, it just, it blows my mind to think that I, I'm in this, along with a bunch of other, all the horror, other horror fans in the credits. That is just, I, I, I'm truly, truly touched by that. And I am so, so cool, glad to be a part of that. And that, also to know that people... Because if you don't, if you missed out on these and you didn't get the physical copies or whatever, they're streaming on Shutter, and it's so cool to know that people on Shutter are checking those out, they're watching those three documentaries, and that I'm on Shutter as well. That is just, I love that. I, I, I'm on a movie in Shutter. That <laughs> that is awesome. But uh, thank you so very much, Creator VC, for all of these uh, these goodies and uh, allowing me to be a part of the journey of '80s horror part one, two, and three. And uh, man, this is so amazing. It's so cool. So cool. Thank you so very much. Uh, you know, two, uh, three, one, they're all going together. Uh, I got a special spot on my shelves here for them. Just thank you truly, truly. And to anybody watching here, uh, if you want to get some, you want to help support my channel, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing and, or joining and becoming a channel member or sharing it out. Or go over to my spring store or my T Public store and pick you up some uh, 80s wear. My designs, scared to keep watching 80s horror or I love 80s horror. Show your love and support for 80s horror with these uh, exclusive designs designed by me on my stores. And, uh, you know, it does help support my channel and it does help me to provide better content and to do better things here for everybody to see. And I thank you all for watching this video. Wherever you are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Always support physical media. Always support the horror community. I mean, it's an amazing community. Uh, Wherever you are, you know, Godspeed and thanks for watching.